Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, hi, hello. My name is Maya and I am your host of Motivation and Muscles with Maya Ting. I already had my second cup of coffee. I am at work. Already got some stuff done. I gotta get some extra stuff done. Um, it's gonna be a good day today. Um, Yeah, I'm gonna do my skating today. I'm gonna skate, I'm gonna go to the rec center and get about 20 minutes of the Stairmaster done. The rolling Stairmaster, the one I hate so, so much. Um, then I'll be home. Yeah, so I'm gonna do all of that after work. I'm excited. How are you guys doing today? Oh, not to mention, I'm gonna go ahead and get in the um, the exercise challenge completed today. So yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna to be too, too busy of a day. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm gonna wash my hands. So let's chat. Let's chat. You know, it's amazing how we struggle uh, as humans with <laughs> independence and wanting independence, especially in a relationship. And, and it's really indicative of our relationship with Christ, but no judgment, but it is what it is. I am working with a couple of friends and there is just a struggle with that independence, ego and pride. And, and when I tell you what I'm learning, ego and pride is not needed in a relationship. Friendships, romantic relationships, you like ego and pride, it's just not, um, it's not going to work. And it doesn't work period in life <laughs> got my hoodie and my sweater and you can lay there I was just showing them yeah ego and pride not needed in a relationship it's got to be a level of um humility lots of freaking humility or you will lose your relationship. And when I say that relationships, um, especially romantic ones, um, when there's an ego or a pride you know, situation going on, normally when it comes to the things of God, you have a ego and a pride issue. No one ever likes to be told what to do, how to do it, and when to do it, right? But you go to work, right? And you make money. But when it comes to the things of God, I don't want to do that. I want to. I want to feel independent. I want to do things my way. Well, go on. I know I'm not making too much sense, but I'm just saying in a relationship. Let me close, open this door. Shield the the sun. In a relationship, ego and pride will kill your relationship. Even with your relationship with Christ, ego and pride will kill that too. Most definitely. And I want to say ego and pride is more of a man thing. It's not. 
It's a thing that us women struggle with as well. And high levels of independence is ego and pride too. I can do it myself. I don't need anything. I don't need anyone. I got this. Me, me, me. Ego and pride. Everybody is afraid of looking stupid. I don't want to look stupid. Neither do I. <laughs> but when I'm doing things in the name of Jesus and in the name of, of my Heavenly Father, I can never look stupid. Never. To the world, maybe. But to Him, my Creator, and that's what matters, I can never look stupid or silly. ginger shot and especially like in a relationship you have to ask yourself do I even want to be in this relationship and give up independence and give up ego and pride you gotta ask yourself these questions I don't understand I think people think they can get into relationships but still do what they used to do when they were single nah bruh nah girl it don't work like that Rubber meets the road. What are you going to do? Turmeric juice, all gone. Mm, ginger juice. I don't know. Yeah. And the Bible talks about humility. So hopefully this afternoon, I'm going to go ahead and talk to my friends. They're a couple. And just remind them both about the spirit of humility. And it's needed in a relationship, not just a marriage, but in a relationship. And pride and ego kills. They're destroyers. And having high levels of pride and ego, you know, we, we've been lied to that that's the way to act and behave. And the thing about it is, as people who knows who who know Christ, it's and we are found. It's our responsibility, and that's what the message was at church yesterday, to find other people, because the lost want to be found. But there's a way in humility to talk to lost people. And that's what I'm facing against. That's what my girlfriend's facing against with her, her boyfriend. And I'm going to come to him in a spirit of humility and no ego and pride and no pointing fingers. And I'm coming with more love than anything because I believe relationships can work even after, you, after you've come through a trial especially if it's what God wants. Especially if it's, if it, if it's what God wants. And God endorses relationships. He loves relationships. And 
but he also, no matter what, he values our relationship with him. And how we approach the throne of Jesus should be an example of how we should work with each other and with lots of humbleness and peace and gratitude and I don't even know if I'm making sense. Mm. Mm. So. But I'm going to go. I'm going to go ahead and wipe up everything. So let's think about how we in our own life can exercise being humble. Sometimes, and the world says, and I believe it to a point, sometimes we have to take the L. But being humble is not necessarily taking a loss. Not always. It's okay to be like, you're right, I'm wrong. You're right, I'm wrong. How can we work through this together because we're partners you're my battle buddy right and what I'm also learning is you cannot have a relationship without Jesus because when stuff be hitting the fan I know me I'm a track star I'm a runner and God be like sit still Maya didn't nobody tell you to go nowhere yeah I know this ain't right I know she did this he did this I, I get that but I want you to sit still. Stop running so much. You run so quickly. Don't give me the opportunity to work. Remember, tough times are going to come. So when you go through it, as you will, your character will be stronger. Your integrity will be tighter. You can take them shoes off, Maya. Those shoes were meant for running physically outside. Not at the spiritual race. You don't need those sneakers. You just need me. Focus on me. Quit focusing on the other person. Focus on me. That's what I'm learning. I'm gonna put you up here. Bend you down just a smidge. I'm gonna go ahead, oh, this is not a flattering angle, but I'm gonna go ahead and get to wiping. So let's focus on how we can be humble today. It's not easy. Yeah, let's do that.
last five minutes. The spirit of humbleness. I have to ask myself, are you being humbled in this situation, whatever the situation is? I have to always ask myself those questions. Because I have a really bad habit of acting out of order and out of pocket. Me. She. We. Yeah. But today is a good day to do better. And I am. Just filling up my diffuser. I do this every morning. to clean it actually so I'm gonna go get lots of work done because during my lunch I want to um, go to the rec center for lunch get the exercise done and then after work go to the belt line and go skating and yeah, I did not forget today we have to do that giveaway. Um, stay tuned for the giveaway video. I'll give you the specifics on what you need to do um, uh, to enter. I think I have an idea, but I wanna announce it later. So stay tuned for that. I have me a whole thing of some flower seeds that I'm gonna start attacking. And I will see you guys later. Love you so, so much. Thank you for all of your support. And have a good, good one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me bring you back on up. And yeah, I'll talk to you later.